Hello, everybody. Welcome to Books Before Bed, the new live stream series on my channel where we talk about books before bed. Hey, that's my jingle. Um, I'm in my pajamas. I'm in bed. I'm all cozy. I'm also like, I'm not gonna lie, my heart's racing a little bit. The anxiety is real. I'm feeling anxiety. Um, but I want to just chill and hang out with you guys and talk about books. So what are you guys reading? Let me know. What's what's you reading? What's going on with y'all? Um, how's your New Year's? I mean, 2021 isn't that great yet, but I'm hoping it gets better. But um, what are you guys currently reading? Let me know. I saw some people were talking about Scythe earlier. I was I was lurking in the chat. I was watching. Um, but uh, yeah, let me know what you guys are reading. Uh, I want to read Scythe. I haven't read Scythe yet. It's definitely on my list to get to. Oh my gosh. Hello, everybody. Ah, <laughs> hello. There's so many of you. This is insane. Ah! Um, but yeah, let's let's chat. What are you guys reading? You just finished Scarlet. Nice. Lunar Chronicles. That's where it's at. It's a great one. A Court of Wings and Ruin. Nice. I am way too far behind on that series. And by way too far behind, I mean I read Akatar once or twice and then you know never carried on with the series so i need to get around to doing that soon asap it's gotta happen um you guys should convince me to read it <laughs> uh you're reading the love letters of lily and abelard i haven't heard of that one is it any good let me know you're reading renegades i really want to read renegades oh my gosh i really want to read it um i've heard so many great things about that one and I love Marissa Meyer's writing. I'm not sure why I've just been putting it off, but um, I need to get around to it. Uh, you're reading The Fifth Season. Nice. I have that on my list as well. I picked it up, picked it up a while ago. Um, but, you know, you know how it goes. You pick up the books and then you just never read them. So <laughs> at least that's how it goes for me. I'm the worst. Um, Y'all know this already, though. Um, you're reading Percy Jackson. Nice. Percy Jackson for the first time, or are you reading it for like the thousandth time? Let me know. Um, I saw some people being like, Jesse still needs to read the Lost Hero series um, before the live show in the chat. And I was like, you're not wrong. You are not wrong. Uh, will I ever get to it? We'll see. Only time will tell. No, I really, I do want to get to it. I do want to get to it. I just don't know when, when I will ever get to it. Um, but dang, y'all are reading some good books. Oh, you're reading Lord of the Rings? Interesting. Interesting. Um, you're reading Aragon, Grave Mercy. I read Grave Mercy like a year ago, maybe a year and a half. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I didn't continue on with the, the trilogy. I want to. I have the rest of the books, so I should do that. I should do that. Uh, you're reading Rebel by Marie Lu. That's nice. I reread the... Uh, the Legend Trilogy in graphic novel form, like right towards the end of 2020. And I really enjoyed that reread. I will say I prefer the novels over the graphic novels. Like the graphic novels were nice to just kind of like refresh the mind, refresh the brain, hit refresh on the brain uh, as to like what goes down in the books. But like, I much prefer the novels. I'll, I'll say that. Um, oh, you're reading Tiny Pretty Things. Nice. I still need to watch the Netflix show. Has anybody watched... The Tiny Pretty Things Netflix show. If so, do you recommend it? I really want to check it out. I actually just need to like binge it, but I'm really bad at binging shows. So we'll see if that if that actually happens. <laughs> um, oh, you're reading Red Queen. Nice. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. Oh my gosh, I need to read that. Ah, so many books. No time at all. <laughs> oh man. Let's see. I should read Dr. Stone in the manga. I actually picked it up pretty recently, so I, I hope to get to that one as well. Um, a series of unfortunate events, nice. That's my childhood literally wrapped up in a series. I mean, it's it's not my childhood. I, my childhood was not a series of unfortunate events, I promise. I mean, there definitely were unfortunate events, but um, I read those growing up like crazy and I loved them. And I used to pretend that like, I was like the fourth uh, bottle air ch child and like would play that at recess all the time. Oh man, the memes, the memes. Um, anyway, the books that I have read so far this year, I'm gonna talk about them. Um, one of them, I don't, I don't know how to explain it very well. I've only read two books so far. I mean, only read two books, that's pretty good. But I'm kind of, I'm kind of doing this thing where I'm like reading short books at the beginning of 
2021, just so I can like get ahead on my Goodreads goal. Um, so these were really short books that I read like in the past few days. Um, but the first one is The Order of the Pure Moon Reflected in Water. This is the first book that I read this year. And this is a novella. And this is the one that is also kind of hard to explain. Um, basically, we follow this girl who is a part of the Order of the Pure Moon. And she has joined these like band of thieves who have this like sacred object that they are protecting. And they... Um, they are traveling to this destination and this nurse coming into the picture kind of causes some chaos and they have to like deal with some uh, some drama some dramedy dramas we'll say that but um yeah that's basically the best way that i can describe it i know that that is so obscure but that's like the best way i can put it um i enjoy this one i I don't, I didn't have any issues with it or anything. It just didn't like blow me away or anything. Like it was just an okay read. Like I really, I liked it. I liked the action scenes. The action scenes were late. Like I wish that there were more action scenes. And I actually wish that this would have been like longer than just a novella. Cause it really is like, it's super short. How many pages is it even? Um, it's tiny, uh, 158 pages. So it's a baby, it's a small book, uh, but yeah, I really also really loved the writing style. So definitely want to check out more by this author in the future. Um, but again, just wasn't like a like blow my mind kind of book, but it wasn't bad. It was okay. And there's nothing wrong with that. Some books just are okay and you enjoy them and you read them and then you move on with your life. And that's exactly what happened. Um, let me know down, or let me know in the chat if you guys, I almost just said, let me know down below in the comments. Let me know in the chat if you guys have read uh, The Order of the Pure Moon Reflected in Water. Cause I'm really curious. Cause I feel like I haven't, heard a lot of people talk about this one um but it is like you know just a novella and not a lot of people on booktube solely read novellas so let me know in the chat um i'm reading some of your chat chat chats right now um jesse you should organize a readathon that would be fun funny you say that because i'm currently helping well it's not a readathon Readathon is a it's a read along. I'm helping co-host a readathon for Shadow and Bone right now, um, or not Shadow and Bone, but like the Grishaverse. So if you guys uh, want to join me on that, I will. Ooh, what should I do? Because I can't really link it right now, can I? I'll tell you about it in the video soon. Look out for it. But this month we're reading the Shadow and Bone trilogy, and and you should join us, it's gonna be great. It's, it's my second time reading the trilogy and I'm actually really curious to know how I end up feeling about it because like I loved Shadow and Bone, I loved Siege and, Siege and Storm and then Ruin and Rising came through and just kind of messed up my feelings on that trilogy. So I'm interested to see if my opinions have changed over time, but we'll see. Anyways, back to the books that I am or I have currently read. Um, and then the second book that I've read in 2021 is this one right here called 1000 Paper Cranes. Um, this is a nonfiction book and it is about the atomic bombing that happened in Hiroshima. Um, actually, it's not really about the bombing. It does kind of explore the bombing in the first portion, but um, it talks about this girl named Sadako and she ended up getting leukemia because of the bombing. And they, like after her passing, they made this um, statue in her honor. And we really just kind of like follow her story and learn about her. And I've, apparently people like read this in like fifth grade or something. I didn't read this in fifth grade. I just found it the other day while like browsing on Goodreads. And I was just like, sounds good to me. I want to read more nonfiction. So I picked it up and I read it and it made me so emotional for so many reasons. Obviously like the bombing itself is like so devastating to read about. And then just Sadako's story is just, ah, so sad. It made me so sad. I was like, I was close to tears. I did not cry, but like I got, I got, you know, it was wet in the eyeballs, like a layer of wetness. I was about to let that wetness fall from my eyes, but it didn't fall. It stayed in there. I'm getting emotional actually thinking about it right now. So, woo -hoo 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 -hoo. but um, she was just like this super dope girl who was kind to everybody, was like a social butterfly in her hospital when she was there. And ah, okay, done talking about that because the emotions, they are stirring. <laughs> but let me know if you guys have read that one as well. Cause I feel like I, I posted this on Twitter and somebody was like, oh, I read that in fifth grade. And I was like, 
why couldn't I read this book in fifth grade? Like, I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, let me know if you guys have read it. Let's see. I'm reading the comments. Um, yeah, so she was a real person. Yes. Um, I actually want to see if I can show you a picture of the statue that they um, made in her honor. Uh, it's kind of hard to see because the photos are not that great of quality in this book, but um, you can kind of see it. This is her. And then there's like a paper crane above her because when she was in the hospital, she um, folded a bunch of like a thousand paper cranes, 1000 paper cranes, obviously. Uh, she folded 1000 paper cranes because um, she had been told that like, if you fold a thousand cranes, paper cranes, then you get one wish basically and that wish will come true and her wish was to get better unfortunately she did not get better she passed away ah emotions okay we're done talking about that i don't want to cry don't want to do it um but the next book or well one of the next books i'm gonna read i'm actually gonna have you guys pick help me pick my next read but this is gonna be the next graphic novel that i read and that is the magic fish um, this is a beautiful graphic novel. It's so stunning. I love the artwork so much. There's just a hint. That's not even a good spread. Let me find you a good spread. Um, let me know if you guys have read any good graphic novels lately. So I'm really curious. Also, wow, I, I'm sorry. I am all over the place. But let me know in the comments down, not in the comments, in the chat. Oh my gosh, let's get with it. Let me know in the chat if you guys have any nonfiction recommendations because I really want to read more nonfiction this year. I kind of want to make it more of a priority. Um, so let me know in the chat if you guys have any recs. Um, this, was, this was a really good like way to get back into nonfiction for me because it's a really simple read. Again, this is a super short one. Wow, I'm sorry that I'm all over the place, you guys. <laughs> um, also, I just saw that it's somebody's birthday. Happy birthday, Kristen. Is it Kristen? Happy birthday to you. To you. I hope you're having a great day. Um, anyways, this is also a really short uh, nonfiction book. It's only 92 pages altogether. And it was, it's definitely like one that is for like younger audiences. So that made it a lot easier to kind of like read and get through. Um, and kind of get me back into nonfiction. So yeah, let me know if you guys have any recs for me because I am in need of some recommendations. Um, and then again, the graphic novel, I was gonna show you guys some beautiful spreads because there's beautiful spreads in here. Let me just find some that I like, even though I'm kind of spoiling myself by looking at these, it's fine. I'm not really spoiling myself. Okay, let's see, this one's pretty. Each one's really pretty. I'm just obsessed with this artwork though. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Let me know if you guys have read this one. Um, oh, this one's really nice as well. Oh yeah, we love it, we love it. Okay, um, so this one is about this boy who wants to come out to his parents, but his parents are Viet Vietnamese and they don't speak English and he, creates a language to talk to them and it's called the fairy tale language. And so through that, he is able to express himself and like reveal these things about himself to his parents. Um, but it just sounds like it's gonna be a bit of an emotional one too, um, but also a beautiful one because uh, the freaking illustrations are stunning and I can't wait to read it. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be my next read, um, the next graphic novel that I read. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna read some of the chat now. That's that's the updates, fam. That's the updates. Um, let's see, nonfiction graphic novel. Ooh, brazen. I'm gonna have to look into that one. That sounds great. I love the idea of like a nonfiction book in graphic novel form. That sounds amazing to me. Um, so I feel like it wouldn't be like too much of a commitment. You know, some some nonfiction books are a commitment and it intimidates me but um yeah uh you need water get some water drink some water let's have a like a five second water break only five seconds okay that's it just kidding okay i'm gonna actually take a drink <laughs> you like my pjs thank you to be honest, I don't normally wear this kind of stuff to bed, <laughs> but because I'm doing a books before bed series, I got some PJs. So 
oh my gosh, it's 3 a.m. there. What are you doing awake? Go to sleep, you crazy. Um, oh, The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind is a great nonfiction book. <sighs> I got to remember that. The, what, what's it called? The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. I'll try to remember it. I need to like write it down. I should have like literally a notebook while I do these things because you guys always hit me with the wrecks and I don't got no notebooks nearby. I just burped, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're reading The Hate You Give? Ah, oh, that book, beautiful. Uh, let's see some more comments or chats, excuse me. Um, a good one is The Beloved World by Sonia Sordor Mayer. I'm definitely pronouncing that incorrectly, but that sounds great. Mm. Mm. I love that you guys are just recommending me books that aren't even nonfiction. I see you guys recommending Heartless, <laughs> Keeper of the Lost Cities. I see you. Those are not nonfiction, but that's all right. Um, is Hey Kiddo, is Hey Kiddo a, um, oh, Hey Kiddo is a graphic novel that you're recommending. Okay, I did ask for graphic novel recommendations. Um, yeah, I, I have that one. I haven't read it yet though. Um, when am I gonna publish a book? When I finish writing my book, I'm, I'm, <sighs> I really want this year to be the year that I at least finish some kind of draft. I've been trying to write a book for so long and I'm the one holding myself back. Um, my perfectionism is holding myself back. My anxiety is holding myself back. Um, my focus is holding myself back. So uh, send me all the good writing vibes and maybe this will be the year that I like finish writing at least a draft. Um, but it still will be a while for me to publish anything because I want to take my time and I don't want to rush it. I want to make sure that I'm putting out the best thing that I can, you know? Um, so someday, <laughs> uh, let's see. Is my book going to be YA? Yeah, definitely going to be YA. <laughs> I, I feel like I'm even like, I'm branching out of YA currently and more in an organic way. Like I'm still going to be reading YA. I don't, I don't really understand this idea, this mindset of being people being like too good for, for YA or just being like, oh, I'm going to completely stop reading YA. Like it's fine to branch out, but you don't have to like completely cancel the YA genre from your life. Like I've seen, I've seen so many videos of like people just being like, oh, I'm done reading YA. Like I'm on to bigger and better things. And like they say their problems with YA are like tropes or things are overdone or overused. And like that's in literally every category. Like it's in the middle grade, there's tropes. There's things that you see often. There's trends and things. And that's an adult as well. That's in like every category ever. So anyways, why did I just go on that rant? <laughs> um, but I am like branching out my reading a little bit right now and I'm excited about it. Um, and um, I don't know where I was going with that. <laughs> but I'm just mentioning it, branching out my reading a bit, but still reading YA. Um, but yeah, I do want to write YA, which is why I continue to read YA, but also because I enjoy the young adult uh, category. So I think there's a lot of fun things happening there. Uh, so... Anyway, I love going on random rants that do not make sense at all. Ah! <laughs> okay, let's see. I want you guys to help me pick out my next read though. I've got two different stacks. I've got a novel stack and then I've got a manga stack. Um, so we're gonna start with the novel stack and I'll have you guys help me pick out one of these as my next read after I read. The magic fish. The magic fish. Okay. Um, wow. Okay. 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 The first one I have here, actually, maybe I'll do this one, is Lore, the book explosion book of the month for the month of January. Um, so this is a book by Alexander Bracken, and I love Alexander Bracken's books. Um, my favorite is Passenger. She did the dang thing with that duology. She did it. Um, so good. Um, this one is basically, I keep saying, um, 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 get my ums out. So this is about these gods who are sent to the earth to live normal lives because of a rebellion. So their punishment is that they have to live, um, as mortals for a few years, um, because of this rebellion that they did. And they have to do it like every seven years, I think. And in this book, we follow a girl 
who doesn't really want to get revenge on a god, but like probably, you know, inside of her she does because the god killed her family. So of course there's going to be like a little bit of like that, you know, ooh, I want to get revenge kind of thing. Um, and so these friends of hers come to her and are like, yo, let's go get revenge on this guy. Let's take him out because they also have issues with him. And so they team up to go and take him out. So that's what this is about. Let me know if you think this is one that I should read. I love Alexander Bracken, like I said. Um, and I really want to read this one sooner than later because we do have a live show at the end of the month on January 30th. So you should pick it up and join us. Um, but I don't know if I should read it now or if I should wait a little bit closer to the live show because I feel like I'm better at discussing when I have read it closer to the actual discussion. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know. Um, the next book is Moshi Moshi by Banana Yoshimoto. And this is a Japanese translated book. And we follow a girl whose father has committed suicide. So trigger warning for suicide. If this one sounds, sounds interesting to you. Uh, be aware of that before picking it up. But basically this girl's father has died and her and her mom decide to move away to like start over, just get a fresh start. Um, but her father's cell phone starts ringing and it's her dad and she's like what the heck so it's basically about i think it's i think it's about grief mostly and it's about the possibility of her dad as a spirit trying to contact her through his phone that's all i really know about it but it sounded really interesting to me one of my goals this year is to read more translated fiction oh my gosh somebody is going crazy in the comments telling me to read something um curious runaways please it is awesome i it's i put it in my my mental tbr i put it in there <laughs> um anyway um yeah this one sounds really good and i want to read more translated fiction i love japan as you guys know i want to go back there so soon once freaking COVID is over, I will be back in Japan. You can bet your bottom dollar. Um, I was supposed to go this past summer, but then obviously COVID happened and ruined all my dreams. So anyway, I am very intrigued by this one. It sounds really good. And it would also be helping out my goal of reading more translated fiction. So let me know if you think this is one that I should go for. We'll, we'll do a vote after I go over all the books, which there's just three options. So just one more. Except first, I need a drink because I'm talking so freaking much. This is the most I've talked in so long, you guys. Oh my gosh. I should get mods in the future. You're right. I'm sorry if the chat is chaotic. Please don't spam the chat. I promise I will look at, I will, I will try to look. Um, a good short book is Apple Tart of Hope. It isn't fantasy, 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 it isn't fantasy, guy. fantasy, okay. It isn't fantasy, but it's a super realistic um, book. It has suicide awareness. Um, it could happen in real life, and it sounds similar to Moshi Moshi. Cool. I will look into that one. Thanks for the rec. So the third book, let me take another drink because, man, talking so much, I don't got no saliva in there to keep me going. <laughs> Reader forever, there's your shout out. Shout out. <laughs> okay, so the third option is The Silvered Serpents. Um, this is a sequel to... What's it called? Oh my gosh, wait, what's it called? The sequel to... Why am I blinking? Why am I blinking? What's the book called? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I just had the biggest, the Golden Bowl of Thank you, you guys. <laughs> ah! This is what happens when I'm filming videos all the time. I just like have a moment, I can't think. <laughs> oh, I knew that was gonna happen at some point on here. It's the sequel to this. <laughs> it's the sequel to the Golden <laughs> Ah, oh, it's the sequel to the <laughs> Where'd my water go? Um. 
This is the Silver Serpents, and it's the sequel to The Gilded Wolves. And I read The Gilded Wolves in November. I'll be honest, I didn't like diehard love The Gilded Wolves. I loved The Gilded Wolves for the characters. The characters were amazing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The characters are so good though. I loved the characters. The world building was a little bit questionable. There's like, it was just really confusing a lot of the times, which I know that that's like what everybody says. And it's kind of like, okay, it's, is it that confusing? Um, but I love the writing style. I, I do think that there is potential for it to be great. And I want to see where things go in the sequel. So um, let's see. How do I explain The Gilded Wolves even? The Gilded Wolves is a heist book about characters that come together. Um, oh my gosh. Not me blanking on, the, on what even happens. Um, oh no, I'm sorry. That was really, that was a really bad description. <laughs> oh my gosh, you didn't have to do a, a, a paid chat. Thank you. You were my first booktuber I have ever watched. Thanks for amazing content. You are hugely appreciated. Thank you so much, Derek. Oh my gosh, you guys don't need to do that. Don't don't pay to chat. I will I will try to check the chat more. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so gosh dang, I did a really bad job of explaining the Gilded Wolves, mm. and I feel like that's a shame because I did such a good job of explaining the other two books. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, it's a heist book, and it's set in a Saint fantasy world. I'm literally blinking right now, and I'm so sorry um, to do that. Um, so anyways, wow, blankety blank. It's probably like the Gilging. G G oh my gosh, the Gilging? The giggling! The giggling threw me off. Anyway, which one do you guys think I should read? Let's do a vote. Um, say Moshi Moshi if you think I should read Moshi Moshi. The Silvered Serpents if you think I should read The Silvered Serpents. Or Lore if you think I should read Lore. And a big reason as to why I wanted to read this one is because I, I fear that if I don't read this one now, I will never read it. And I and not that I will never read it, but I'll just push it and push it and push it. So that's why I wanted to pick this one up. Um, again, I'm so sorry that I did not do justice on the description for the first one. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of lore. Oh, this is hard. This is hard. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of lore. I'm seeing a couple Moshi Moshis, Silvered Serpents. Ooh. Mm. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's down. It's between. Okay. It's between lore and Moshi Moshi. The chat is going crazy right now, but it's between these two books. So let's do this right now. Oh my gosh, you didn't have to do a, a paid chat. So it's either between Lore or Moshi Moshi. Say either Lore or Moshi Moshi right now. What does this chat say? You guys, you don't have to do this the paid chat. You don't have to do that. Um, you're doing great, but you also challenged my inner energy at the moment. It's 3.30 a.m. here right now. Oh my goodness, go to bed. I'm so sorry to have woken you up like that and giving you energy. <laughs> but um, thank you so much. Uh, for the support you don't have to do the, the paid chat though guys i appreciate you though amanda thank you so much that's so sweet of you and also i hope you get some sleep you did not have to stay up so late okay sorry okay laura moshi moshi okay oh man this is hard is there a poll option on the chat i feel like there is not if there was a poll option i could do that and it would be so fantastic Mm. Yeah, it does not look like there is. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's lore. I'm pretty sure it's lore. Okay. Lore is going to be my next read after I finish this book. So I will be reading lore. All right. It's happening. Thank you guys for helping me decide. I appreciate it. No polls, just stress. You're right. <laughs> Chaos. But I definitely want to read this one like really soon after I read lore. So maybe I'll read lore first and then I'll get to this one. Um, I think that's, that's what I'll end up doing. Um, Cause yeah, I really, I really want to get to this one. Um, oh man, my computer's like overheating. Yo bro, chill, chill computer. It's okay, Peter. <laughs> um, so yeah, what do you guys, what's your, what's your next book going to be? 
what's your next book gonna be? Let me know in the comments. Like, I, you, you already told me what you're currently reading. What's your next read? Um, let's see, I'm gonna take a drink. I need a drink. Where's my water? It's down here. Also, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Like, I appreciate you being here with me on a Thursday night. Um, I really appreciated that. I just wanted to say that. Thank you so much for being here and hanging out with me. Um, this is so much fun. Um, let's see. Oh, okay, you're gonna read the last book of the Ash Princess trilogy. Love that trilogy, it's so good. I feel like it's super underrated too. Like, more people should check it out. Um, it's really, really great. Oh, you're reading A Cuban Girl's Guide to Tea and Tomorrow. I feel like I saw that book cover recently and it piqued my interest. Um, so that's exciting. I'm glad you're picking that one up. Great Expectations. We love a classic up in here. Uh, I don't read many classics, but I should. Um, let's see. The Iron Daughter. Nice. Is that a part of the Iron Fae series by Julie... Is that by Julie Kagawa, potentially? Or Julie? Ooh, let me know. Uh, Air of Fire, nice. Prepare yourself for the emotions, the roller coaster ride. Um, you're reading Shadow and Bone, nice. Oh, are you reading Moshi Moshi? Here, that's your next read? That's awesome. Um, it was somebody asked who my favorite K-pop idols are. <laughs> I know we're talking about books here, but my favorite K-pop idols, uh, let's see. Uh, Irene from Red Velvet. I know that she had a controversy recently. I don't want to think about it. Um, Lisa from Blackpink. She is literally an ace. She can dance. She can sing. She can rap. She's a visual. She's the full package. Um, let's see who else. Who else? Uh, Sakura. Sakura. Sorry. Sakura from Eyes One. She's my new bias. Like, I wasn't really into Eyes One, but then I like Panorama for something, something about that song. It just pulled me in and um, yeah. Ooh, somebody spent, stop sending paid chats. You don't have to do that. Thank you, Summer. Love your videos and meeting you at BookCon in 2019. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, I wish BookCon would have happened this year and I'm so sad because BookCon is apparently like not happening anymore. That makes me so sad. Um, anyways, your question is, who is your favorite non-book related YouTuber? Um, this is so interesting because I've gotten into like gaming. I haven't really gotten into like the gaming world in terms of YouTube, but I really have been loving Sakuno's content. If you guys know him, um, he's a streamer and he does some YouTube videos and stuff. I watch like compilations of his videos all the time because he's just so cool. Um, let's see. I love Casey Neistat. I haven't watched him in a while though, but like I'm really inspired by him. Um, let's see who else. There's got to be more. I love um, oh, Bon Appetit. I did love Bon Appetit, but they had a big controversy and like they need to do better. Uh, um, let's see. Um, I really love, I miss Conan Gray's videos, honestly. He was one of my favorite like non-booktuber YouTubers, but he doesn't post anymore really. Um, but he's into music and stuff, so. Um, yeah, that's, I'm trying to think, I know there are more that I watch. If I think of more, let me just like, let me pull up my phone and look at my subscription feed because I'm sure that I can um, see more people. Usually I blink when people ask me these things. <laughs> I love K-pop Junkie. He does uh, news on K-pop and his videos are so funny. He has the best puns. Um, I love Lil Simsy. She does Sims videos. I love her videos. Anna Akana, oh my gosh, her videos are top notch. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Um, yeah, I will say, I just wanna, well, I wanna give a shout out to a booktuber because they're like my favorite right now and that is the Artisan Geek. Their content is so freaking good and you should check it out. Anyways, what are you guys currently reading? Keep telling me, or what, what's your next read? Keep telling me. Um, have I heard of Shiny? I stand Shiny. He is my favorite member in Shiny. Um, they're coming back in like February or something. Oh, I'm so ready for it. Um, let's see. Um, 
I have watched Corpse, yes. Corpse is great. Um, anyway, okay, I'm now going to have you guys help me decide what manga to read next because hold that thought, had to take a sip. Uh, I've been wanting to get back into manga. I kind of like have a bit of an ebb and flow when it comes to manga. Like I don't really, like once I fall out of the, fall out of the flow, it's hard to get back into it. So I want to get back into it. Um, I did originally have like a manga book club type thing that was happening every, uh, every other Monday. And then it was like every Monday. And then it just like, I burnt, I got burnt out. And then it was like, just chaos. So that's not really happening anymore. I, I kind of put an end to that because it's just, it's too much for me to take on with everything else that I, I have going on. Um, but anyways, I want you guys to help me to pick out a manga to read. Um, so the first one is My Hero Academia Volume 5. Um, I love this series so much. It's basically about these kids who get quirks and we follow them as they develop their quirks and fight villains. Um, quirks are basically like superpowers. Um, but it's just so wholesome. I love the cast of characters. I love the action and the writing, and it's just, mm, it's beautiful. Chef's kiss. <laughs> and then we've got Fire Force. Um, this one I kind of picked up on a whim pretty recently because I saw it in Books a Million, and it just sounded really good to me. Like, I was like, ooh, I'm intrigued. But basically, we have this, like, special Fire Force in... Tokyo because Tokyo is plagued with like this deadly phenomenon where people just like combust just like explode into fire and like obviously that needs to be put out like that fire needs to be put out so they have a special force that does it um yeah it just sounds like really interesting and I feel like this one uh has the potential to be really funny too um so yeah fire force volume one should I read this one or <clears throat> I need another drink Ooh, I have not talked to this this long in so long. Actually, I have, because when I turn on the camera, this is exactly what happens. <laughs> it actually has been a few days since I filmed, though, so. <sighs> and then the third one I have here is called Beyond the Clouds. I picked this one up recently because it kind of gave me Studio Ghibli vibes, and I was like, hmm? Now, is it anything like Studio Ghibli? Probably not, but like the art style itself, I was like, that reminds me of Studio Ghibli. Um, and this one is basically about this boy who has always dreamed of like living in some kind of fantasy world from a book, um, but he's kind of given up on that dream. And that all changes though, when one day he meets a girl who has wings, which I'm assuming is this girl right here. Um, she's got wings. Um, and it kind of like sends him into this like, you know, what am I doing? A whole new world of exciting things, fantastical things. Um, so yeah, those are my three options. I'll actually go through and kind of show you the artwork right now, um, if that's something that you guys are interested in. I have actually already read this volume, but it would be a reread. I want to get back into the series. So there's some of the artwork. It's kind of hard to see. Also, let me know down below in the comments if you guys read manga and what your favorite manga is. This is the Fire Force artwork. Let's see. Sorry if I spoil anything. <laughs> that is not my intention to spoil, but it is obviously easier to spoil manga and graphic novels. And this is the Beyond the Clouds. Did I say Beyond the Skies earlier? I meant to say clouds. <laughs> Let's see, there's some artwork. I'm probably showing this way too fast, but I don't want to like take up too much of your time with this. Mm, let's see this one. So which one of these do you think I should read? We've got Fire Force. Okay, if you think I should read, wait, okay. Let me just get them all together here. So put down in the comments, which one you think is Fire Force, My Hero Academia, or Beyond the Clouds. Ready, go. Bring on the chaos. I'm scared. Oh my gosh. I feel like my hero is going to win by a landslide because it's uh, popular. Okay. Okay. I'm not seeing Fire Force at all. So we're going to go ahead and eliminate that one. Rest in peace, Fire Force. Okay. We've got between these two, which one is it going to be? Beyond the Clouds or My Hero Academia? Help me, help me, help me. Um... 
Okay, I feel like I feel like it's beyond the clouds. Let me just, I'll give it five more seconds. Five, four. Okay, it's its beyond the clouds, hands down. I'm seeing a lot of My Hero Academia, but I'm definitely seeing more of beyond the clouds. This sure is some kind of way to do a poll, guys. <laughs> um, but yeah, this will be next manga read. That's exciting. Um, really interested in getting into this one. Um, I will hopefully be doing a review on it on my second channel because I want to start doing more reviews there on my second channel, which is youtube.com backslash more reader. So if you're interested in hearing my thoughts on it, check it out there <laughs> once I read it, which will hopefully be soon. Wow, my bed is a little bit chaotic right now. But um, now I want to hear from you guys. What are you doing? What are some of your like reading goals for this year? Um, or even just goals. Um, if you want to tell me, let me know what some of your goals are. And I will respond after I get a drink of water. Please pick up Inuyasha. I've seen a majority of the Inuyasha series. Um, I feel like the, the manga would be a big commitment, potentially. So, you want to read at least 12 books? Nice. 75 books, that's great. Um, and along with like, your like reading goals do you have any specific goals for like your reading like do you want to read more fantasy more science fiction more contemporary non-fiction like what any any goals like that let me know do you want to start a reading journal let me know um read more diversely that's that's always a great goal to have i feel like in general um yeah i'm actively trying to do that as well make sure that I diversify my reading. Um, uh, Jesse, will you be filming more of these lives? Yeah, I'm hoping to do one of these each month. Um, I wanna do one every Thursday. Wait, the first, what did I say? The first Thursday of every month? Is that what I said in my video? Um, but I do wanna, I might wanna like adjust the timing of it so that more people can come um, make it more accessible for more people. So I'm going to try out a couple of things, but um, yeah, let's see some of your goals. Uh, you want to make a steady schedule for life since I start college in August. Ooh, that's a really good one. It's hard to do that. It's hard to get on a steady schedule. Um, so don't be too hard on yourself. Be kind to yourself. But um, yeah, you got this. Um, you're hosting a 24 hour manga readathon at the end of the month. That's so awesome. Um, can you tweet me details so that I don't forget? Cause I probably will forget. <laughs> That's so cool though. Let me know like what, what it's called and stuff. Um, yeah, I might join that. I, I will say the 24 hour readathons, man, they are rough and, uh, I will probably sleep, but I might participate still. Um, you want to read all the books. I mean, who doesn't, Derek? <laughs> who doesn't want to read all the books? I want to read all the books. Um, um, do you have a BTS bias? Yes, it's Jin. Uh, you want to participate in a readathon? Well, there's a manga readathon happening, so you should participate in that. Um, you're having an all-nighter with your friends so you can read. That's so much fun. That sounds like the best. I almost feel like maybe I should do like an all night read a read along like live show or something at some point. I feel like that'd be so hard and I would definitely fall asleep, but like that would be fun. Maybe not on YouTube, but like on Twitch or something. Oh man. Um, you want to read the Slated Trilogy? Ooh, I don't know that I've heard of that. Did somebody just call me daddy? I will pretend to not see it. <laughs> Um, what is my favorite book? Take a guess. Take a guess what you think my favorite book is. It's Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Also, uh, the finale is coming out this year, you guys. I'm losing it. I cannot. I cannot believe it's coming to an end. I mean, I can, but, uh, ah. Uh, help. What do you need help with, Mayana? What do you need help with? You inspired me to read more. I love that. Um, read more library books. That's a great one. Um, I definitely need to utilize my library more as well. I actually haven't been to the library since COVID hit. Ah, oh, and I miss it. I, I used to just like go there and like use their internet because it was faster than my internet. Um, but, um, 
what was I saying? I just saw a comment and got distracted. Um, yeah, I miss just like going to the library. I miss going to the bookstore. I, I did go to books a million, a books a million pretty recently, which I do not encourage like going out in public and stuff at all. Um, I shouldn't have even gone. Honestly, it was irresponsible of me to go. I did wear a mask, um, but yeah, I just miss, I miss bookstores, man. I miss the library, I miss all the things. Um, um, bu -bu 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 -bum. My go-to boba order is green milk tea with black pearl. Did I move? Yeah, I'm in my new house. Uh, I love it so far. Everything is currently a mess. Everything is a disaster. Um, I have literally piles of books everywhere because uh, I just haven't been able to like organize my life yet. But uh, hopefully soon. <laughs> please, please soon will I, will I get my life together. That'd be, that'd be great. <laughs> Um, do I have a YA book recommendation? Yeah, but what are you interested in? I can't just like, <laughs> I, I need more details. What kind of books do you like? Happy flower. Let me know. <laughs> Hashtag Uncle Rick. Um, am I making a bookshelf tour soon? Yes. So I actually, I filmed a bookshelf tour. Cause, okay. I got new bookshelves and, um, I filmed a bookshelf tour with my old bookshelves. Um, so that will be coming like within the next week. Like it's, it's gonna, it's probably going to be like Tuesday or Wednesday of next week. Knock on wood <laughs> that that actually happens that I actually get it up. Cause it's a lot of work guys. Like it's so much footage to go through so much editing and just a disaster to put together, but um, I'm working really hard to get it up, hopefully next week. So if it's not, it'll, it'll be sometime next week, even if that means like Sunday of next week, like it's gonna go up next week, I promise. Um, no, I live alone. Um, this is my first time living alone though, and it's like kinda scary. Um, do you sleep with or without pillows? I find pillows uncomfortable. Really? Also, Melissa. You didn't have to buy a comment. <laughs> thank you, though. Um, thank you for the support. Uh, so I do sleep with pillows. I have had, like, a lot of issues with pillows. This is, like, a really random story. <laughs> I have had a lot of issues with pillows, though. Like, the last, this past summer, I had so much neck pain. Like, wild amounts of neck pain. I also just had a lot of back issues this past summer. Um... I'm all, I'm pretty good right now. Like I probably should go see the chiropractor soon because I'm having like a little bit of an issue right here. Oops, I didn't mean to move the, the stool that this is on. Um, I have a little bit of issues right here so I should probably go to the chiropractor soon. Um, it's just like scary going during a pandemic. So like, I don't want to get COVID. I don't want it. I don't want it. Um, anyways, so I had been having like a lot of neck issues over the summer and like I bought a special pillow that's like supposed to like, um, like delicately hold your like head in place while you sleep at night. And like, it was an expensive pillow. Like I paid too much for this freaking pillow. And like, it did not do the dang thing for me. It, it did nothing for me. And I wasted money on an expensive pillow that was supposed to help me. It did not help me. But anyways, the solution was like a feather filled pillow, I guess. I, I like did like a bunch of Googling on like what I should do to like help my freaking neck to stop dying when I sleep at night. So I got this like feather filled pillow and it like really helped me out. And like now life is good when I sleep and I haven't had neck pain in a long time. Anyways, that was a long winded way of telling you that yes, I do in fact sleep with pillows. <laughs> I'm sorry that it took so long for me to spit out that story, but um, yeah. Okay. Also, oh my gosh, stop buying, stop buying comments. You don't have to. Um, will you be doing a house tour video once you're all settled? I'm nosy and love seeing people's spaces. I don't know. Like a part of me wants to, um, but a part of me also doesn't. Like I, I'm really limited on like what I share online um, just because like people are so judgmental and it scares me and I don't like being judged. Um, I just, I, um, I don't know. I just have had a lot of experiences in the past where I felt self-conscious because of things that, have pe that people have said about me or to me on the internet. And like, I get that that's a part of doing this. So like putting my life, putting myself out there, like, of course, I'm going to get judgment in some way. So like, I don't know if I will do a house tour. I know that people will probably want it. And 
Maybe I will at some point down the line. Definitely not for a while. Like it'll probably be like a year if I even do one because it's probably going to take me a year to get settled in this place because I'm just so picky and I just like rearrange stuff all the time. So we'll see. But thank you for your comment. Thank you for the paid comment, even though you don't have to do that. Ah, oh. but yeah, I don't live with my family. I live alone. This is my first time living like without anybody so it's 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 not scary but it's just like i don't know um oh somebody mm, somebody spamming i do need to get a moderator at some point so if anybody wants to moderate that'd be great um jesse you need to make a book talk your videos would be amazing i am actually considering joining tiktok i don't know if it'll be solely solely books. I mean, I'm sure that that will be a majority of the content, but um, yeah, we'll see. I, I definitely want to like experiment and like try out TikTok. I know that it's like a whole new world though, compared to YouTube. And I feel like that transition is going to be a little difficult, but I'll try. I'll try. Uh, just see how it goes. I mean, if the worst, worst, thing, worst thing that could happen is that I try it out, find out that I don't like it and just stick to YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and all that stuff. So um. Uh, Oakley actually lives with my family, so he does not live with me. He's still my dog, though. I love him. I miss him all the time. I'm seeing him on Saturday. I miss my big boy. I want some pup cuddles. Um, so, yeah, that's why you don't see him a lot. <laughs> but I miss my Oakley. I miss my Oakley boy. Are you still in Missouri? Yes, I am. I'm still in Missouri. I'm in a different city, but I'm in Missouri. Um, I don't know who's spamming, but please stop. I wish I could catch it. Um, I'm sorry, guys, that there's spamming happening. Um, also, if you don't know what spamming is, it, it means uh, when you copy and paste your comment like 10 times in the chat, that's, that's considered spamming. Um, so please don't do that. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, I should read Akar, Akarne, Akarne by Lynette Noni. Okay, I'm gonna Google that book so that I have it on my radar. I read radar <laughs> on my radar. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna Google it so it's on my radar. Okay. Um, is Missouri a misery to live in? I'm so funny, haha. <laughs> Actually, I used to like say that all the time, like in high school, I'd be like, this is misery. I'm in misery, living in Missouri. Um, I don't hate it living here. I wish all my friends were here. Like that's the only thing is that like, I literally do not have any friends um, in person here. Not that I could even hang out with any anybody if they were physically here. Um, because of COVID, but um, that's like the one thing that like really sucks is I don't really have any friends here. I, all my friends are online friends. Um, so that's a bummer, but it's all good. It's all good. We're living, we're thriving. And you know what? Online friends are great. <laughs> They're just as great as in real life friends, so. It's rude. It's, oh, okay. Sorry, never mind. I'm going. Um, did you ever consider working in publishing when you were younger? There was a time actually like five years ago when I was still doing booktube or when I was like kind of in the early days of doing booktube. Is that actually early days? That's like probably three years. How many years has it been? It's 2020. I started in 2012. Anyways, um, there was an opportunity to apply for a job, but I was like, if I do that, I probably won't be able to do booktubing. So. I chose booktubing. <laughs> am I interested in movies? Well, yes, I am interested in movies. <laughs> yeah, this will be available for replay. I'm gonna leave it up, even though that leaves me, even though that makes me like a little bit self-conscious, I'm not gonna lie because I'm so stupid and I probably said a lot of stupid things. So I'm sorry, the anxiety is real, but um, yeah. Did I say 2020? Oh my gosh, it is 20, it's 2021. I'm sorry. I gotta work that out of my brain. <laughs> um, 
I'm only going to stay on for five more minutes, guys. So, or, yeah, five more minutes. Jesse, you should read a couple books from Brazilian authors. That's funny. Well, it's not funny, but I just recently like looked up um, like a, a list of Brazilian authors because I really want to like, I really want to read more translated fiction and like Brazilian authors are ones that I definitely want to like give a go. Um, so I have a list that I found somewhere on the internet um, and I'm going to be like picking some books from that and like potentially reading them. Um, so I'm excited about that though. Um, I, I went to Brazil. Oh man, how old was I? I was like 12. I feel like I was 12. Um, and I want to go back so bad because it's such a beautiful place. Um, so have I read Naomi Novik's books? No, I have not. Um, I've heard great things about her books. Um, so I don't know. Should I give her books a try? Potentially. Is your PO box public? Yes, it is. Um, it's in my bio on my channel. Like if you go to my YouTube channel and click about, it should be in there uh, somewhere. So it's public. I haven't checked it in a while though. So if, if anybody has sent me a letter, uh, I'll get to it soon. I really wanna get like postcards and like send them back to people that send me letters, but um, I need to design that and all that stuff. So that was a big side note. That was me thinking out loud. <laughs> um, am I interested in Ellen, Ellen Hopkins books? Yeah, I've read a couple of her books. Um, I've read The Burned Trilogy. Was it a trilogy or a duology? I think it's a duology. Um, and I read Rumble. I really enjoyed Rumble. Um, and some other ones as well um, that I'm j I just can't think of right now. Um, have I read the Ember in the Ashes series? Um, I haven't heard you talk about it. I, I read the first book. Oh man, when it came out, like right when it came out, I read it and I really did like it. Um, but I never, I just never like stuck with it. I'm just so bad at series. Uh, um, resist the need for polished content. Be proud of your live shows. I'll try. I just, I so fear that I've said something wrong or that I've offended people um, in some kind of way. Uh, and I don't ever want to do that. Like that's, that's my biggest fear is like ever hurting somebody. And I know that like, ah, it's just, Gives me anxiety. So if I ever do that, um, yeah, that's gonna suck. But that's why I'm like a little bit anxious about leaving it up, but I'm just gonna leave it up. It's gonna be fine. We're all Gucci. <laughs> um, what do you think of Truly Devious? I haven't read Truly Devious. Is that by Maureen Johnson? Is that right? Um, but that's been on my radar. Cause is it, is it kind of dark academia? i have kind of been interested in like reading Dark Academia for a while and I just haven't like delved in, but I feel like that was on a list that I like looked into, um, a Dark Academia list. Um, and that's why it piqued my interest because I want to get into that kind of subgenre. Is that what it would be called, a subgenre? Um, what's my favorite movie? My all time favorite movie is The Goonies. <laughs> which might be so random, but I just love that movie. It's so iconic. Um, so I love The Goonies, but also I would say that Hocus Pocus is like a really close second. Actually, oh my gosh, then Big Hero 6, like they're all on like a level playing field. That's such a random trilogy of movies, but um, yeah. Um... <clears throat> Also, uh, people are saying, please read Portuguese books. If you have any recommendations for me, please send them my way. Um, yeah, send them my way and I'll definitely like look into, like send me some of your favorites. Um, yeah. All right, just got like a minute left, guys. Yeah, I do have a PO box. Um, if you go to my YouTube channel and click the about button, uh, it should be in that little area. But um, don't send me like books or anything, anything like that, please. Just just send me like a letter if you send me anything. Like I love letters. I love like hearing from you guys. Um, it just like is so encouraging. It makes me feel so good. Um, so 
don't send books up. I don't need any books. <laughs> you guys know this. I have too many. Uh, have I finished reading the Red Queen series? No, I have not. Okay, I'm going to take one more question. I'm going to close my eyes and I'll pick one randomly. Okay. Um... Are you super hyped for the Shadow and Bone series? Yes, I am. I am so excited for the Netflix series. I am cautiously optimistic. I really hope that Netflix promotes it right. I hope that they don't cancel it after like two season, two seasons because Netflix has a tendency to just kind of like give up on TV shows. Um, and I really hope that they don't give up on Shadow and Bone and that they're like in it for the long haul and that we get all of it, um, which means the Shadow and Bone trilogy and then obviously the um, Six of Crows duology. Um, I need both, I need both. And I know that they're kind of like weaving the storylines together and that we will see a bit of um, Six of Crows characters in the Shadow and Bone Netflix series. So I'm excited about that. Um, but yeah, I just need them to be in it for the long haul if they're going to be in it at all. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, but we'll see what happens. And again, I am co-hosting a read-along for the Shadow, the Grishaverse books. Um, and I'm going to actually put a link in the chat if you guys want to join along. I'm going to put the Twitter just because that's the closest thing that I have right here. Actually, can I do this? I'll do this. Okay, I'm going to put our card info if you want to join us we're having discussions on a discord we have like a discord community going on and it's so much fun um i haven't been able to chat that much in there yet but i'm going to be making much more of an effort soon um things have just been a little bit chaotic lately so i'm gonna put the card in right here i'm gonna try to pin it if i can let's see if i can pin it uh really fast pin pin message okay that is the link to learn more information about the Grishaverse. Uh, read along, read along, yeah, read along that's happening. I keep wanting to say a readathon. So if you wanna join, please join. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna have an announcement video soon. But anyways, that is it for the first episode of Books Before Bed. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that I wasn't too chaotic. Um, I really enjoy hanging out with you guys and I hope that we can do this more often. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys being here and hanging out with me, taking time out of your day, taking time out of your reading life. Um, those of you who didn't sleep, I can't believe you didn't sleep. You stayed up till like 3 a.m. to watch. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you guys so much for joining and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye guys, I love you. Y'all are the best. <laughs>